We're here with Dennis Randall uh, at the wall that heals. Happens to be my father and a Vietnam veteran. And can you tell us about your service a little bit? Um, I was like a lot of guys. I was running away from the draft, so I joined the Air Force. So what does today mean for you? I, I didn't want to visit the wall in Washington. <laughs> But I saw it once, and it was, the emotions were too strong. Um, I said, well, I'll visit this one and take a look at, look at it. Uh, this is a replica. The emotions are still too strong. Um, I'm sorry. I, I, I see many things when I look at that wall, and I think about that war. Because my service, I was, I was, I was not a combat veteran. I was in the Air Force. I had an easy assignment. Today I'm 100% disabled from Agent Orange. Um, I served in the headquarters 7th Air Force, MACB, Saigon. I had an easy job compared to the, the guys on that wall. Uh, I don't think, I never came under enemy fire with the exception of occasional rocket attacks on the base. And that, that I can treat it more like a, just a bad, bad thunderstorm. Lightning hits, you don't want to be there. A rocket hits, you don't want to be there. Uh, but that wall, I look at it. I'm sorry. I see such a waste. Uh, not the men, the men and women who died. Um, they did the best they could or what they had to in an awful situation. But as a, as a nation, I think that wall can serve as a reminder that maybe war isn't the best idea. I, I feed my family with the imports I get at the supermarket from Vietnam. Really? Was that war necessary? Did all those have, men and women have to die? For what? Pride? Arrogance? I don't know. Bad policy? I'm not blaming anybody. It is what it is. I think most people agree it was a mistake. The kind of mistake is different from one person to another. It depends on your perspective. Where are you looking at it from? But the one thing we know about mistakes is there are wasted experiences unless we learn from them. I look at that wall, I'm still learning. Thank you.